The cyber threat landscape is constantly changing. The complexity and rate of attacks is increasing. And network defenders are lacking the resources to be proactive. Researchers at Sandia National Laboratories are developing an approach to isolate and contain adversaries while facilitating intelligence gathering about their tools, tactics, and procedures. The Hades platform is a high fidelity uh, deception environment that we can collect actionable intelligence about adversary actions in a way such that we're feeding back information to the defenders in, in an automated fashion. We bring out high fidelity deceptive elements that the actor can then interact with and by interacting with it our hope is that he will be able to expose more of his intent, more of his tools, more of the tactics that help us to identify that actor. With that information we can then take that intelligence and feed it back into the system for the network defenders to have a better idea of what to look for the next time around. We're actually able to tell when an adversary gets on a machine, did they use a certain exploit, did they use a certain vulnerability, and what processes did they potentially start, what, what sort of files did they modify on that machine. We can introduce certain artifacts into a system that we think an adversary may be interested in to get them to give up more and more of their tools, of their techniques and things like that. Current computer defense tools are insufficient in countering a sophisticated adversary. Sandia researchers are using live, virtual, and emulated systems to rapidly and transparently deploy networked information systems. Current deception techniques like honeypots only fool an intruder for a short time, like a goldfish in a small fishbowl there isn't much to interact with. The Hades platform emulates an environment that can look like 10,000 machines interacting and generating content. Think large aquarium with one-way glass. The high fidelity of the emulated systems are based on artifacts from live operational systems providing that lived-in feel. Uh, we do it in real time and we do it without the use of agents so as bad actors fall onto our virtual machines in our environment, they're not going to see an agent there watching what they're doing. And to me, it's, it's rich content, it's rich uh, user information, and it's the rich endpoint that all leads them to say, well, I want to continue living in here, right? Our goal is to provide an environment that they stay in for uh, hours, months, days, weeks, right? So then you can learn from them as much as possible. And I think that's one of the biggest differences from us and other honeypots. We could potentially have a, a real document that the attacker can find and look at and as soon as they try to get it, get it out of the machine, it may be corrupted in transit or you know, lost somewhere and they will potentially just keep trying to get it and never actually get hold of it. The world's leading IT research and advisory company, Gartner Incorporated, reported by 2018, 10% of the enterprises will use deception tools and tactics for operations against attackers. Their report also revealed the lack of a single suite of tools to provide a comprehensive solution to deceive and analyze the adversary. The Hades platform answers that need. We better enable a network defender with tools and visibility and capability to modify these environments on the fly. So rather than just idly watching what's happening in the network, we provide the ability to interact with those that are in the network. And that just doesn't exist. Our ability to collect information, our ability to change perception of the adversary, our ability to have dynamic environments that are high fidelity is something completely unique that I've never seen before.